Son of the Times episode 516 from this undisclosed pine cone. Undisclosed pine cone. I'm sure a squirrel will be by for it shortly. And there's my blue mask. Everyone loves the blue mask. One of the most popular masks I have, I think. Look at that. I got it at the Arctic Market. For the people that love the snaps, there's the JB Moonshine t-shirt. JB Moonshine just had a birthday recently. I don't know if Paul Freakshine sent him a card or maybe even baked him a cake, but he may have. I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe Old Thumbs Landstein said, I don't know how birthdays work, but I know that Gene Hackman was in the movie The uh, Hoosiers, and then he just gave him a thumbs up, and J.B. Moonshine said, what's going on with my birthday? And he just shook his head and walked away, not knowing what was wrong with his life anymore. There's Chicken Bob. Look at that. Chicken Bob. He might eat that pine cone. I don't know. I don't know. He might. Demon and Bunny Coffee. Delicious cup of coffee. Keith Ryan of Northwest Pro fully agrees. Pamphlet for the sign of the times. Every show needs a pamphlet. Book I got for QT out of a little free library. Current book I'm now reading. The Blue... No. They Bleed Blue by Jason Turbo. It's about the 81 Dodgers with Fernando Valenzuela and Steve Garvey and Lasorda and all those guys. CAC program. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, which you may be watching. Right about now. Stomp and Steve wants me to beg people to subscribe. Surely they must understand they need to subscribe, he shouts. Maybe Stomp and Steve will go to old Ken Hamlin's house with a rockin' hand and he'll say, you subscribe now or this rock's coming through your window. And then Stomp and Steve yells, ouch, as old Ken Hamlin throws a rock at him. It could happen. The Twitter where people can follow me, but not literally. I did not confirm that Celsius Corbin match, but maybe I can confirm that people that follow me, such as Stomp and Steve and um, old Ken Hamlin, have had rocks thrown at each other. Here's what it looks like in the law office of Stephen P. New, which will come up moments from now. Moments from now. Autograph picture of Kevin Sullivan. There's Paul and his buddy pal, John Lennon, before they had that big falling out. Paul and wonderful Zach. Paul and the rest of the freak show. Darkness apparently injured his back. Hopefully he'll be back soon. There's Paul and his niece, Casey Carlisle. Maybe Casey Carlisle sent J.B. Moonshine a cake. I don't know. You can get pictures like that at CaseyCarlisle.com. Hopefully, a lot of people went there to get birthday gifts for J.B. Moonshine. There she is with QT's favorite, the pillow. There she is if you're smaller, like short sleeve Samson or Mr. Big. There she is. Holding up some belts. A little bit sultry. J.B. probably would have liked that one. There she is when she went to Title Belt University, home of the fighting title belts. Look at that one. Whole wall of belts. There she is if you're old enough. JB probably now old enough. I would presume, but would he want one of those for, you know, since it is his cousin? Probably they are from the Appalachians. There she is. Other members of Team Bad News. Look at that. Not one single good knee in that bunch. There's old Ken Hamlin throwing a rock through a McDonald's like it's stomping Steve's head. And he's practicing, saying, you better order more pretzel party. And Stompin' Steve's like, it's my passion in life. Because Stompin' Steve loves pretzels and cheese. It's his main passion in life. He's ordered from the pretzel party. What a great startup company idea that was by someone that used to sell me a lot of raffle tickets back in their youth. Hey, look, there's a squirrel. Beast Barnett probably wants us to get that squirrel. Look at that. Look at his little squirrel tail. He, he might be looking for this pine cone. This very pine cone, that squirrel might be. Hey, squirrel, I have your pine cone. Watch this, I'll help him out. Oh, he's waving. There he goes. Maybe he's going to get the pine cone. Maybe he wasn't looking for that pine cone. I don't, oh, yeah, there he is. He's going for it. He's inching his way over there, and he's changed his mind. He changed his mind like when Paul changed his mind about being buddy pals with John Lennon. Back in 72. Autograph picture of Seymour Snot. Proud member of the Gals roster. One of the proudest. I'd say top 10 proudest of all time. So, this week is a busy week. Busy with 
smoke detectors and fire alarms, apparently, from what I've experienced so far today. Wow. But Sunday this week on Turnbuckle Turmoil, we have Jay Diesel, formerly of Ring of Honor Wrestling, Northeast Independent Star. And look at that. That squirrel probably crawling around saying, Jay Diesel, he was one of my favorite sports entertainers. Let me come over here and find out what's going on. Well, he'll be on Turnbuckle Turmoil, not the squirrel, but Jay Diesel. And then I'm going to go down Sonny O'Meara's Celebration of Life happening on Sunday. I'll be down there. I believe Coach will be down there. Maybe Randy Zeller is one of the fellers, possibly. But we'll go there for that, celebrate Sonny O'Meara. Monday, pretty much looking free. Tuesday, maybe I'll finally confirm that Corbin and Celsius match. Wednesday, not too much. Thursday, maybe that's when Jared Savage finally will come and we'll have Kelly Cannoli. I can only hope. Maybe this week will be the week. Next Friday on the show, Stephen P. New. Stephen P. New coming back to the show. You've seen what it looks like inside his law office. Coach will probably ask him, hey, what's new? And then Coach will laugh, and he'll laugh, and he'll laugh, and he'll laugh, and then he'll try to whistle, but he won't be able to because he exhausted all of his oxygen in the laughing. And then Stephen P. New will say, well, let me tell you, and he'll run down some all suits for us. I think Beast Barnett will probably be really excited because I think Beast Barnett is a huge fan of the law. I guess. I, I think the police were his favorite band, so, you know, it stands to reason. But the review from this undisclosed formerly area where a pine cone sat, but then the squirrel didn't want the pine cone, I don't know. He's over there. There he is. Oh, he's coming over here. But Sunday, we have... Jay Diesel, then going down to the Celebration of Life for Sunny. Monday's pretty free. Tuesday, maybe I'll confirm that Celsius Corbin thing somehow. I tried earlier, and no one confirmed it. Wednesday, not much. Thursday, hopefully Jared Savage shows up for some cannolis. Friday, that's when we have Stephen P. New. Maybe Stump and Steve will call in and say, Can I use you on a retainer in case old Ken Hamlin throws another rock at my window? It could happen. But pretty much episode 516, 